Howdy everybody and welcome back to Hermit Skies. Last time we went ahead and we got ourselves some power generation right here. Looks like our capacitor bank is now filled up to the full 50 million RF, which is fantastic. And we also got some mob sorting, item sorting done down at the mob farm right down there. So that whole storage system right there is what we did last time. And apparently there's an ender- oh, I looked at that enderman, didn't I? Yes, I did. He's very upset. I don't know if you guys can see him down there, but he's he's trying to get to me. Anyway, I think today, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to, first of all, modify our sword a little bit more. We can finally make this totally unbreakable, because we have an extra modifier now. And there we go, unbreakable sword. Sweet. So now all of our tools, I believe, are unbreakable, except for this hatchet, which also we can modify. Sweet. So let's grab one of these reinforcers, and we can reinforce this thing right there so there we go all of our tools are now totally unbreakable cannot be broken for any reason and all is well that's fantastic the other thing i want to do real quick here i want to make a experience obelisk one of these things right here because i have 107 levels and i don't want to lose all 107 levels if i happen to die for some reason and so let's see what we need for that we need a machine chassis which is just like that that's pretty straightforward and relatively easy to make so let's just grab some of this and we also need a little bit of iron so let's grab that right there uh, what else do we need here for that machine chassis uh, we need a basic capacitor so we need some copper and things so let's grab a little bit of copper from here we're also gonna need a energetic alloy I believe and let's see we're gonna need some soul sand as well which let's see we got some soul sand right up here and let's see what else we need here. We need, yeah, soul sand, solarium. So soul sand and gold. Let's grab a little bit of gold as well. We'll put those in our alloy smelter right over here. Just like this. We'll pop those in there. Get a little bit of solarium. And then we need, let's see, the machine chassis, obviously. Um, a couple of solarium. And I think that should be pretty much good. Right here. There we go. Take that out as well. And let's go over here and make this thing happen. So we need the experience rod first. Then we have machine chassis and solarium like this. And that gives us the experience obelisk. Sweet. All right. Awesome. That is great. There we go. Quest updated. Liquid XP deep storage unit. Sweet. Uh, okay. Let's see. Where do we want to put this? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's put this. I'll tell you what. I have some obsidian here that we can use. Let's do this. Let's put it on this obsidian right here. There we go. Sweet. So I can go in here and I think I can just, yeah, take levels out of my inventory, I believe. Yeah. There we go. Levels of XP right there and I can get them back one by one or it looks like this is like all. So let's just store it all in there right there. Perfect. So we got 107 levels of XP stored in that obelisk. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So Today, I think what we'll do, guys, uh, let's first of all harvest some of this mycelium out of here. The shovel has still touched, so we can get some mycelium going. I think this does have a couple of different uses in this pack. And what we're going to do today, I think I want to try and focus on mystical agriculture. So let's take a look at our quest book here. So agriculture revolution. So th these quest lines here is what I want to try and focus on. The reason is because... Essentially, you can grow almost everything in this pack. Uh, if I go ahead and look at, let's just type in essence. Essence. So all these essences right here, these are all things you can grow. And you can see there are many, well, not that many pages apparently, but there are a lot of things you can do and grow. Uh, so you can like grow energetic alloy, you can grow cobalt, you can grow nickel, uh, obviously iron, uh, tin, bronze, silver, lead, pretty much anything you can grow. Uh, basically, dyes, obsidian, fire. You can grow fire, guys. Like, come on, that's awesome, right? Uh, nether stars, you can grow nether stars here with this nether star essence. Um, and so you can make a nether star shard, uh, which presumably, yeah, three of those make a nether star. So you can literally grow nether stars, <laughs> which is amazing. So I'm thinking right now I want to make probably this a large part of this area into 
mystical agriculture farms, I'm thinking. So I think I want to first start off by hopefully getting some, I think there's something called fertilizer or fertilized dirt. Yeah, fertilized dirt right here. I want to get this first of all. So rotten flesh, bone meal, and dirt. So we should have quite a bit of dirt here. And we do have a lot of the other stuff as well. Let me just put some stuff back here. Uh, so we'll get ourselves some bones. Get ourselves some dirt. And we'll get ourselves some zombie meat right here. So we'll just put some bone meal in here. And I think we got everything now, right? So we can just pull it all in. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Perfect. Fertilized dirt. Now, this fertilized dirt is pretty special because, number one, you don't need water to keep it fertilized. I don't think you can even... If I jump on this... Yeah, I don't think you can revert to dirt either. So that's fantastic. Uh, you don't really need to till it. I think you can just plant stuff on there. Let me see if I can uh, let me get some seeds here real quick. Here we go. Let me get some seeds. And I think you can just plant stuff right on it. Uh, or maybe you do need to till it. Hmm. Yeah, I think you do need to till it, actually. But we shouldn't need a water source to keep it keep it fertilized. Let's see, do I have just a regular, like, till, uh, hoe? Let's see, I don't think I do. Let's go ahead and make one real quick here. Uh, I should have sticks in here, I think. Maybe? Potentially? No. No sticks. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. By the way, you got this awesome new stick recipe here with these wood logs. Helps out quite a bit when crafting. So let's just make ourselves a hoe. And we'll till this. And this fertilizer... Yeah, there we go. Should basically update things... Um, periodically and basically apply bone meal to it every once in a while and I don't think we can now we can't shift and grow it so that will definitely help the crops to grow faster so I'm gonna make the majority of my mystical agriculture stuff out of this fertilized dirt because it does speed the growth up slightly and we also want to get some watering cans so let's take a look at the the quest book real quick here not you uh, this one here so we have this watering can here the level like the base watering can we also got carrots, carrot seeds, stuff like that. And let's see, watering can part two. Let's try and go after this one, Inferium watering can. Uh, increased growth, growth rate of most crops, infinite water, but smaller area. Okay, so that will give us infinite water. So let's see what we need to get that thing. Let's just go into our book here, and let's just do Inferium watering can. There we go. So we need the base watering can, we need Inferium ingots, which is just a base essence ingot with Inferium essence. And we also need a core, base ingot with fertilized essence and gold. And then we need a theoretical infinite water source, which is water essence and base nugget essence. So how do we make, how do we make the base nugget? Alright guys, so it looks to me like we need to get this mithril ingot here, which is made with mithril ore chunks, which we can apparently get through uh, mithril ore pieces, which can be get through gotten through sieving. So it looks like we need to take crushed netherrack through a mesh. And let's see, that's 12% with the flint, the iron it's 20, and with the diamond it's 9. So actually the iron is much better to put through the sieve, which is great because we have more iron meshes than we have diamond meshes. We only got one diamond mesh. So I'm going to try and compress or crush this compressed nether rack. I'm not sure if this will actually work or not. If I just go ahead and do this. Okay, we can't actually mine that. So let me uncompress this nether rack here. Uh, let's just do something like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a bunch of stuff down. Yeah, you can see the fertilized, fertilized dirt working its magic right there. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and put down a bunch of this nether rack here and crush it with the hammer. I believe this is all it takes right here. Just simply do something like that. And that should give us, let's see, where is it? Crush nether rack, yeah. And then we should be able to sieve this over here like this, yeah. And then get a bunch of ore pieces and stuff like that. Yep, perfect. Looks like we got some already. Nice. So I'll go ahead and do this for a little bit of time and we'll get ourselves some mithril ores. Okay guys, so we're now ready to go ahead and smelt up some of this mithril ore. Let's just go ahead and make ourselves a crafting bench here. I'm just going to get one out here and move it over to this spot, let's say right there. That's a good spot it seems. 
And yeah, let's go ahead and just make ourselves, whoops, some gold and some mithril and some other ores here. So we'll just go ahead and place all these in here like this. And like this. And the mithril pieces will go in like that. Let's go ahead and put it into the alloy smelter. Smelt up three per. And in the meantime, we're just going to go ahead and keep on crafting up this. This is actually a pretty decent source of gold. I might do well to set up a auto sifter so I don't have to manually do this every time. That might be a good thing to do. Just go ahead and do this. You also got, what is this, cobalt? And I think we got iridium. Yeah, iridium ore as well. So we got a few extra pieces of things. So that's pretty cool. There's our mithril ingots. Or actually, no, that's mana infused ingot, not mithril ingot, but that still works. So I think we do something like this. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, base essence ingot. And let's go ahead and make a few more of these. Just like this. There we go. Should be good. Let's grab everything else back out. And there we go. That also completes a quest. That's the second quest we've completed so far today. And let's see what we need for this infernium water can. That's not how we do that. Uh, we want to go into this, and let's look up Inferium Water Can. There we go. All right, so let's see what we need to do. We need to get some Inferium Essence around this base ingot to make Inferium Ingots. We need four of those. So let's come on over here. I know for a fact we got quite a few of these Inferniums. What is it called? Inferium. Inferium, yeah, not Infernium. Uh, let's just go ahead and split this up here. And we need one, two, three, four of those. There we go. That's done. Next one we need, we need this fertilized essence. How do we get this? Bone meal that works on resource crops. Drop chance 10%. So we got everything else besides that. So we need to figure out how to get this fertilized essence. And then we also need to figure out how to get the water essence. We need base essence nuggets. So how do we get this? We put water seeds into a seed reprocessor. And water seeds are made by doing a tier 1 crafting seed with infernium and some water buckets. Which themselves are made with base crafting seeds, which themselves are made by, yeah, prosperity shards around regular seeds. So let's do this. Let's get another quest complete. Very good. And let's do this bit right here. Let's go ahead and craft up ourselves some base seeds. So I think that's just like this. We'll probably need some of these, so let's just go ahead and craft up a bunch. There we are. And there's yet another quest complete. And we're completing all the quests today. <laughs> Apparently. Um, so let's see, what else do we need? We need this, and we need to make a tier 1 seeds. Water seeds tier 1. So we need four water buckets. And then we need an infirmium seed here. So let's just do this. There we are. Perfect. And yet another quest complete. Wow. <laughs> Completing a bunch of quests. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, craft this up. I need to get some water buckets. And we'll try and get the... Is it the water essence seed? Yeah, the water seeds. Let's try and get that. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and craft ourselves up a bunch of seeds here. So we're first going to make the base seed level right there. Then we're going to upgrade those to the tier 1. Tier 1 crafting seeds right there. And then we're going to upgrade these even further once we get a little bit more Inferium. And we're going to place these into the crafting table like this with four water buckets around like that. That should give us the water seed. And so we can go ahead and plant some of these seeds down. I'm actually going to go ahead and use the fertilizer, which I think I have in here now. Uh, let's see, where did I put it at? Maybe I put it in this chest down here. Yeah, right here. So we're going to go ahead and plant these seeds with the fertilizer. I'm also going to go ahead and make myself a sieve. That way we can pretty easily, you know, come in here and uh, harvest like 3x3 three three areas instead of just the, the simple, you know, what is it, 1x1. Uh, one one. So I think that's what we're going to do right here. Uh, I also might want to expand this a little bit and expand the, the floor out a little bit as well. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are now back. We got a couple of things done here. I'm just going to fill up my water can here just by right-clicking on this water source. And once this is filled up, we can go ahead and head over to our little farm area here, which I've been sort of developing here. You can see that, yeah, we put down the growth crystal. We got a little farm around here. We got chisel glowstone around the side, and we have ourselves some inferium plants right here. 
And the ones we really want to grow are down here in this section. This, these are the water plants. Uh, these are the ones that grow... These are the ones that grow the fertilized essence, which we need to make the next tier of watering can. So we'll to grow all these up the most that we can. And we also have the... We have the three by or the nine by nine growth crystal here from uh, Tiny Progressions, so that's also helping out quite a bit to grow up these plants. And obviously, of course, the water can is doing the same thing. Covers like a three by three area and helps to grow up these plants real quick. So that is that, and I think that's good enough for now. Maybe if I can just stop watering. Okay, it's going to run out. I guess <laughs> that's fine. Perfect. There we go. Yeah. There we go, perfect. Uh, we also got this sieve, carbon paper sieve, which, yeah, you can see the stats for this right here. And, yeah, it has mining speed 200, so this helps us, you know, if we want to get in here, we can just simply, yeah, break these crops just like this. Makes it really easy to do, and then we can just plant them back down. I've tried to breed up some of these water seeds here, because these are the ones that drop the fertilized essence. Uh, this stuff right here, uh, the 10% chance. And, yeah. That is what I've been sort of gathering here, because that's what we need for the second tier water can. And since we have five fertilized essence, I think we can actually upgrade. We can actually upgrade to the next tier of water can. Let's just go over here and, and see what we need. So next tier water can is this one, the infirmium ingot. We need that. So that's base essence and infirmium. And I'm keeping all my all my stuff, my mystical agriculture stuff, in this chest. So I think I have the infirmium infirmium ingots. And then we need the theoretical infinite water source. So we need some base essence ingots. And turn those into the nuggets. And then combine these with some water essence, which we got from the water plants. Uh, like that. Yeah, cool. All right. And then we need what else? Oh, yeah, the infirmium fertilization course. We need a single gold ingot. And we also need the base essence ingot so we need one of these there we are so we need this we need the gold and then what's the rest of the recipe oh the fertilized essence and the infirmium yeah there we go infirmium fertilization core perfect then we need the can and the ingot and that should be it so we I think we got everything else so let's just go ahead and pull everything in there we go infirmium watering can very good now let's see this one there's our quest updated this one looks like it does cover a one by one, but it's not that great. So we'll have to upgrade to the next tier. Uh, let's see what the next tier is actually. Let's let's claim this quest real quick. Uh, not this one. It is agricultural. There we go. So next one is watering can part three. This watering can won't run out of water. Okay, so we got to get this next watering can. So let's do that. Okay guys, at this point I went ahead and I did some grinding in Mystical Agriculture and tried to get all the rest of the watering cans. So this is the tier 3 watering can I'm going after right now, which just requires tin and bone meal and the previous level of water can. So I smelted up some tin, but I quickly found a game-breaking glitch once I got to the intermedium, like the mid-range, the mid-tier watering can, which I'm going to show you now. Yeah, let me know if you guys think these are broken. I'm going to show you one water can. So here's the intermediate water can right here. This allegedly affects like a 5x5 five five area. So here's what this looks like. Here's what the growth with this looks like. This actually does look pretty quick, actually, if I'm honest now. So if I go ahead and do this, that's that. And then this one, this is the base one. It's, it, the base one is definitely faster. Like, it's not even close. I don't know why you'd ever use the other tiers. So, guys, apparently there's a glitch with this base watering can when you use it on, when with crops that are on fertilized dirt like we have here. Uh, as you can see, it causes crops to update way more often than they should. So, this actually... The fertilized dirt actually turns this watering can into the best watering can in the game. Like, way better than any of these other watering cans. So... <laughs> That is a useful trick to know. It's kind of an exploit, but eh, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. You do have to refill this water can still, but still. Like, if it's going to grow crops pretty much instantaneously, then why not use it? I mean, look at this. Look at this growth rate. That's insane. That is a lot compared to any other can. Like, if I do 
If I do this can here, look how slow this is comparatively comparative to that. <laughs> Why would he use anything else besides this? Like, man, I think we're done upgrading the water can is what I'm saying. So yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing. Yeah, it just keeps keeps updating all the crops. My goodness. That is a huge exploit, definitely, in this pack. So if you guys are playing along with me, highly recommend you guys use that because, wow. <laughs> look at This whole thing has grown already, essentially. Man, that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, anyway, we're still growing some stuff here. I want to continue to get a little bit more stuff here from Mystical Agriculture today. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see where that leads us. So guys, we have some plants growing here. However, I think I want to go ahead and set up a system that automatically farms Inferium. Uh, because that would be very, very useful because you do need a lot of this Inferium. And having something that would be automatic would be a great help. Uh, so I don't have to go around here and do this all manually all the time. So I think what we'll do, we'll go ahead and set up a automatic Inferium farm. And so that will entail making this, the farming station from Ender.io, so this can plant and harvest crops. Uh, it does require power and tools, uh, and the, but yeah, you can increase the power and the range and stuff, so I think this is something worthwhile to make. All right, let's make this farming machine, so boom, farming station, sweet. All right, there we go, farming station complete, sweet. Uh, let's put this thing down and see what it can do. Uh, right, okay, so it looks like we have hoe, axe, shear, bone meal in here, southwest, southeast, northwest, northeast, show range, okay. No power, we, so we need to power it. This is the range it can be in. Does it go down any, like down below? Uh, doesn't look like it, right now at least. I guess, I guess the farm is going to be right here anyway, so that should be fine. Uh, I'd like to space this out so that, you know, we have like a three-wide walkway like we have here. So maybe we move it over. Yeah, let's move it over a little bit here. There we go. Um, right, so I think like pretty much in line with this one would be a good spot to put it. Yeah, I think like, I think like here would be a good spot to put it in. So maybe like right there. Let's see how that looks. How is that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we can have like a power line coming down here to the farm. Yeah, that should work. That should work. Uh, sweet. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's. Yeah, let's 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 put down some dirt here. Let's put let's make some like fertilized dirt, I guess. Um, and let's let's try and get this thing up and working. Okay guys, so we've started to build the Ender IO farm here, and what we have so far, we are just, yeah, coming down here with the water stream. Uh, this will be a lot easier with flight, so I think that's probably my next priority to get done. Uh, but I've ran a power line from our power generation area over there, all the way to the farming station here. Uh, we should also put a double layer capacitor in there, that'll increase the energy uh, that can be stored in here, and also... You can see the range. I made this perfectly, the perfect size for this thing. Um, so that is fantastic. Uh, and then what I want is we want the item conduit here, this thing, to filter out some Inferium and some fertilizer. Uh, although I don't think fertilizer is actually a part of this. So yeah, we'll just keep it in there anyway. I don't think it should make a big difference. Uh, but this should be all that it, it extracts. We can always add more stuff if we want to. Uh, we want this to be always active, and let's see, we want, uh, let's see, I think that's it for that. Uh, this one, we need the Inferium Seeds, and I'd like to have the Tier 2 Seeds. Um, so let's do the Tier 2. We only have a couple right now, so let's do the two, Tier 2 in the Northeast, and the Tier 1 everywhere else. I think would be a good... Thing to do um, and let's actually configure can we will this be active like right now if I do that it says no does it still say no seeds it should should have seeds now um, let me see if I can get up here real quick no seeds I just put seeds in there does this not work with missile agriculture come on now uh, lock 
Lock, lock, lock. Does that do anything? Oh, I have to till. Do I have to till the? Oh, we have to put this, the thing in there. I have to put the sieve in there or the uh, the hoe in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me make a hoe real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and made one of the Tinkerer's Maddox, the carbon paper Maddox, and you can till dirt with this, as you can see right here. I don't think this should actually be used up too much because um, basically, let's see if I can put this in here. Yeah, I can put that in there. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, that should till all the fertilized dirt we're going to put down here. Uh, whoops. Let me just pick that right back up. Thank you. And this should now be good, essentially. Uh, we do need a chest over there. Need to pick up that chest over there. We also got to clean up our mess down here. Um, let's see. We also... Let's go ahead and get a diamond chest, I think. Would probably be a good thing to get. I uh, will put that right there to... Yeah, essentially get the infernium, uh, infernium going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go ahead and review what we've done so far. So we have ourselves a farming station here. This thing is working just fine. You can see we have... Uh, inferium seeds, inferium seeds rather. I know I put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable sometimes, but yeah, inferium seeds in there. We have a bunch of inferium essence in here, and so this, yeah, this farm is working well. Couple problems. Number one, this is not an unbreakable tool. This actually broke, so that's why all this stuff is currently uh, not being farmed. And also, we ran out of power, so this thing is filling up once again with power because it actually drained all the power from this capacitor bank. All 50 million RF went into the farm for a little while. And this thing only produces 200 RF, so we need to increase our power production already with just this one simple farm. <laughs> so we need to already increase our power production. Uh, a couple more things. So we got our dirt seeds here. We got dirt uh, essence growing. We have water essence growing, fire essence growing. I also got to tier three. So we got, you know, redstone. We got Surtis quartz, uh, coal, which is tier two. And then this is just water plants and inferium uh, over here. Let's go ahead and repair this thing really quickly. I think uh, it shouldn't be too bad to repair. I think we have to repair the head of it. It's the carbon pickaxe head. Let's just quickly get over here. And that thing right here, this thing, this thing right here, this is a chunk loader. You can see if I do this, this is the area it's loading. That's defined by these lasers right here. So it's loading this whole area while I'm not here. That's what this thing is, in case you were wondering. Uh, so that is what that is. Let's go ahead and head on over here now. Let's repair this thing. Okay, guys, so the Matic has been repaired with some carbon, and it's in there now, and everything should be harvesting correctly. So we should be getting some Inferium Essence right in here as these plants grow up. Now, the other thing I want to be sure we do, I want to, first of all, try to get this leveled up at least one more time. That way it's going to be unbreakable. And also, there's Inferium Seeds that do accumulate in here over time. So I want to try and make sure that we can get those things, uh, those Inferium Seeds, make sure we can get those to the point where, you know, basically we uh, don't have to worry about them. So I might have to make a seed reprocessor um, that basically, you know, we have to pull the seeds out as well uh, from this thing because right now they just sort of accumulate in there, which is why I have all these Inferium Seeds in here. They were sort of accumulating here. Um, but, yeah, basically we could pull out the seeds, um, from this, reprocess them, and then we'd get essence from the seeds as well. So that would be something we can look into. Uh, also, I'm looking into the, the fact that this watering can is overpowered. Um, so if I go ahead and put this right in here, and I set this to upper left slide only, use item on block, right click, uh, we should see... Yeah. This thing is now providing updates, so if I can get a system with a bunch of mechanical users with a bunch of watering cans, that when the watering can is done, like it uses up all its uh, durability here, it pulls out and then refills at a water source, and then pulls it out of that user and puts it back in here, we could have an automatic way to update uh, or to grow the Inferium uh, pretty much instantly, which would mean we would have essentially an unlimited amount of Inferium, and we could go straight to the end of Mystical Agriculture uh, tech tree without any problems whatsoever, pretty much. So we have pretty much unlimited resources after a very short period of time. So I'm going to look into that and see if I can get a system going for that. Um, but I am pretty much out of time for this episode. So what we're going to do for the end of the episode here, let me just quickly dump off all of these Mystical Agriculture things in here. 
you can see we have quite a lot of interesting stuff. Redstone essence, Surtis Quartz essence, uh, which all these, these can be made. Let me just show you here. These can all be made into the materials by doing that. So there's 16 redstone dust. Easy, just like that. Um, so yeah, these other things can be done in a similar way. So like the coal, coals like that and stuff like that. So those are good sources of materials there. Um, right, so let's go ahead and we want to claim all the quests we've done today, which are quite a lot. So all these blue cle blue quests uh, we need to claim. So I'm going to go through and we are just going to go ahead and claim each and every one of these. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll be back and we'll open up a bunch of loot chests. All right, so we got a bunch of loot chests here. You can see we got a whole bunch of loot chests actually. So let's see what we get. Worthless slime charm. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got another wither skeleton charm. That might be somewhat useful, depending on if we find a fortress or not. Epic Bacon. Alright, that's good. Very nice. Loot chest. Diamond Shield. Not not very good. Greater Ring O Experience. Internal Experience 0, Radius 12.5 blocks. Some type of ring. Not exactly sure what this does. It's from... I don't even know what it's from. Can I put this on? Whoa, look out happens if I shift right click? Oh, okay, it stores experience. Oh, that's awesome, okay. Can I put this on as a, as a, as a ring? Oh, okay, nice. Sweet! That's pretty amazing, okay. And then can I, can I store stuff? Let me try and store it, and then put it on. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it just stores XP. Uh, it has to be in the inventory, I guess, or something. Yeah, okay. That's somewhat useful, I guess. Uh, next thing. Skeleton charm. Man, we get a lot of these charms. Way too many, in my opinion. Skeleton charm, see? Too many of them. Uh, okay, Certus Quartz block and a Fluix block. I think those are really good, actually. I think you can change these into Fluix Crystal. Yeah, these are really, really good, I think. I think this will go toward the ME system. I think, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, I just barely know these things, so I think those are really good, though. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to put these up here, actually. Uh, along with the epic bacon, some of the useful stuff. Uh, let's see what else we got. More photovoltaic cells, awesome. That'll be good, because we need more power. Uh, let's see, let's go to the next one. Another greater ring of experience. Enderman charm, not that useful. Blaze charm, not that useful again. Uh, spider charm. Wow, okay. We got a lot of charms. All the charms. Diamond furnace. Okay, that's somewhat useful. We, can, we got one already over there. And we actually have an endist furnace over there, but that's still useful. Magma cube charm. We're going to have all the charms, guys. Pulsating iron. Not that great. Magma cube charm. Okay, a lot of charms. Uh, some useful stuff, though. I really think the Fluix blocks are the main thing we got that are that's really good. And like I said, more photovoltaic cells because we need more power. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do leave a like. And make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. We just got an achievement. Hey-oh. <laughs> anyways, thanks so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.